This game is called Coins in a Circle. For this game, you will need a buddy to play with. I don't have a real buddy here with me today, so I'm going to be playing against Mario. If you have a real buddy to play with at home, you can play against a real person. Otherwise, playing against an imaginary friend is fun too. You will also need something to write on and something to write with and a variety of coins. So I have pennies in my collection that are worth one cent, nickels in my collection that are worth five cents, dimes that are worth 10 cents, and quarters that are worth 25 cents. You can play with any even number of coins in your circle. You'll also notice that I left my circle open. You will want to put your coins in an open circle with some space in between. I have 10 coins here because that's an even number. If I want the game to be a shorter game, I could go with fewer coins. If I want the game to be a little bit longer and more challenging, I could make the game with more than 10 coins. I can do any number of coins as long as it's an even number. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to keep track of my amount that I have here on my page and we'll keep track of Mario's amount over here. I can pick one of these two coins to start with in my open circle. So I could either pick this dime or this penny. Now, Mario will get to choose any of the coins that come next in the sequence. So if I take this dime, he could pick from either this quarter or this penny. If I take this penny, he could pick from this quarter or this dime. So either way, I know he's gonna be able to get a quarter next. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this dime and I'm gonna record what I have so far. So I have 10 cents. Now it's Mario's turn. My guess is he'd probably take this quarter. So he now has 25 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and take this nickel because that leaves him with two pennies to choose from. So I have my dime from before plus my five cent nickel. I know that 10 and five is 15. So 10 cents and five cents will be 15 cents. And you can use any strategy you want to add your quantities together as long as it's a strategy that makes sense to you. All right, now it's Mario's turn. I'm gonna have him take this penny. 25 cents plus one cent is going to be 26 cents, all right? Ooh, now I could either pick this penny or this quarter. I'm going for the quarter. That's a nice big amount. So I'm gonna show this one on a number line just so I can think about how to solve this. 15 cents, okay, so that's what I have. Um, so I'm trying to add another 25 cents. So I'm gonna add five cents first to get myself to 20 cents. And now I can add the other 20 cents to get to 40 cents. So, so far I have 40 cents. All right, I'm gonna have Mario take this penny because he's gonna try to keep me away from that quarter, another quarter. So 26 cents plus one cent is 27 cents. So right now I'm beating Mario by 13 cents. I have 13 cents more than him. The object of the game will be to be the person with the highest quantity of coins or in coins um, once the game is over. So now it's my turn. I'm gonna take, ooh, either way he's gonna get a quarter. So I'm gonna take this dime. Okay, so I now have 40 cents. I know that 40 plus 50 or 40 plus 10 is 50. So 40 cents plus 10 cents will be 50 cents. So that's what I have right now. Okay, now it's Mario's turn. I'm sure he would probably take this quarter. So 27 cents. Now he could either think about 27 cents plus 25 cents, or if he sees an easier way to count the quantity that he has now in his hand, he might see that two quarters together make 50 cents and then two additional pennies make 52 cents. So he might choose to just look at what he has now and that might be an easier way for him to solve for his total. Okay, now I'm gonna take this quarter. All right, and I know that three quarters together is 75 cents. 50 cents, two quarters plus 25 cents. 
is going to be 75 cents. Okay, and Mario is gonna take that penny. So he's gonna add one more cent. So he ended up with 53 cents. So I have 75 cents, Mario has 53 cents. For this game, I would win because I have more money than Mario does. We can now mix up our coins and play again with our 10 coins. We could add some more, we could take some away, play again however you want. Have fun, good luck.